This slideshow is going to cover the macromolecules, proteins, and nucleic acids. The competency and objective, according to the Department of Education, we have 2D, which is to compare and contrast the structures, properties, and functions of carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids in living organisms. And what we're going to do with this slideshow is just cover proteins and nucleic acids only. This slideshow also covers Objective 2E, which is to examine the life processes to conclude the role enzymes play in regulating biochemical reactions. That includes enzyme structure and function, including the substrate specificity and factors that affect enzyme function, which would be pH and temperature. So basically, we're just explaining the role of enzymes in reactions. Proteins are made of long chains of amino acids, so the monomers of proteins are the amino acids. The amino acids get put together in long chains to form the polymers, which become the proteins. The shape of the protein controls its function. So proteins are kind of like puzzle pieces almost. So if they don't fit into the correct spot in a cell, then they're not going to function properly. So the shape of the protein tells it what its job is. Some things that determine the shape and the function are the way the amino acids are put together. So there's a specific order for each different protein. And then the way the protein folds together to take its shape. Proteins are important for cells because they regulate the processes of the cells and they comprise structural components of organisms. So they tell cells what to do and then proteins also form some important parts of cells and some other important structures. For example, the pictures at the bottom of your screen, the one on the left shows the cell membrane and those green spots are protein channels and protein pumps that are embedded in the cell membrane. Those move materials across the cell membrane that would not normally be able to cross the cell membrane. Then on the right we have histone proteins. So those help shape your chromosomes by coiling the DNA. It's called a supercoil around those histone proteins. Enzymes are a protein that act as catalysts. Catalysts speed up the metabolic processes in organisms, so things that would normally take a very long time to occur naturally can be speeded up by using enzymes. A catalyst lowers the activation energy of reactions, and that activation energy is the amount of energy required to start a reaction. So they're going to speed up some processes that would normally take a really long time. Some examples of enzymes are catalase, which speeds up the reaction by decreasing the activation energy. And then we also have protease, trypsin, and pepsin that all contribute to the digestion of proteins in the digestive tract. So those proteins aid in breaking down the food that you eat so that it can be absorbed by your blood. So to summarize, proteins function is to regulate cell processes and they also make up structural components of cells. The monomers are amino acids and the examples of proteins are enzymes and hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a component of your blood. Finally we have nucleic acids. So the monomers of nucleic acids are nucleotides. Examples of some nucleic acids are DNA and RNA. Nucleic acids are important because they store and transmit genetic information and they also hold the codes for making proteins. To summarize, nucleic acids store and transmit hereditary information. The monomers are nucleotides and examples are DNA and RNA.